you know, I'm not really that surprised. Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Chad with Waking News. It is April 4th, 2023. And if you're new to this channel, this is Ray React to News, but get first thing in the morning. Or in this case, after work, because I had to work this morning. So by now, you guys probably heard that President Donald Trump actually was arraigned earlier today in front of Judge Merson. During this hearing, the charges against him were unsealed, and President Trump pleaded not guilty to over 34 counts of business fraud. So apparently, in the state of New York, when it comes to crimes relating to business fraud, the statute of limitations is actually six years, which is one of the reasons why the DA's office decided to charge him now instead of later, because if they had charged him later in the year, a lot of these charges would not be applicable. So of course, right now, the question is, where do we go from here? When speaking to both the prosecution and the defense, Judge Mershon actually put down a timeline in which both parties can go ahead and file for any motions they want before their next in-person hearing on December 4th. So yeah, unfortunately, that's all we have right now, and um, it's going to be a, a while before we have any more developments on this story, because right now, President Trump is back in his home in Mar-a-Lago, and he's still expected to run for president, which he's fully free to do, because in this country, it's innocent until proven guilty, and of course, yeah, that's his right. But it's going to be very interesting to see how this affects his campaign. Is it going to bolster it? Is it going to tarnish it? Who knows? Okay, guys, that's going to do it for uh, today's episode. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. And make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video.